This is the nucleus of what we are, is this called thing called uranium. It's way down here. And, a f and so this is what happens. Now realize that in the atom, this is the nucleus, and outside it are a bunch of electrons flying around, right? Flying around at the speed of light. And it's the outer shell electrons that interact in chemistry. But it's a nucleus that deals with nuclear energy and nuclear matter. All right, so this is a uranium nucleus or a representation of it. Sometimes when we shoot a neutron at this, a neutron comes into this, this starts to rearrange. And it rearranges enough that it says, you know what, I don't want to rearrange. So instead of maintaining this, it fissions, it breaks in half. Okay? So what that means, I'll give you an example, is that let's assume that these bags are uranium atom, and if I take a neutron and shoot the neutron at it, it will split into this piece and this piece. Okay? And these two pieces are different atoms, different elements. Cool? When it does that, it releases some energy, and we get that energy into heat, and we make power out of it. So in this, you've got strong forces that are trying to hold it together, but you've also got those repulsive forces, right? Your magnet forces trying to push each other apart. And this, this one is trying to push apart, and this it's still even pushing apart on this one over here. So when we fission and, and make this, we get energy out of these two, and that's how they split. And we get energy out. I'll use an example of a mousetrap. Right? Is this mousetrap ready? Is, it, is there any energy in it? No, right? Because it's it's already sprung. Okay. But if I set this, or if even I drop on this, does that take some energy to do? Yeah, because I got to hold on to it. Right? And if I let go, what happens? It snaps. Okay. So when I took this neutron and pushed it into here and I split it into two, you know what I did? I made this mousetrap. I made this uranium atom, this uranium atom, snap. We can control this reaction. It's what we do in a nuclear reactor. Okay? And we have a mousetrap nuclear reactor here on campus. Did you know that? And it's right behind you. If I look at this, each one of these mousetraps with ping pong balls represents a uranium atom. So what do you think would happen if one of these mousetraps went off? You think they would all go off? You think that the ping pong ball would fly up and then come down and maybe set another mousetrap off and set another mousetrap off? That's what you think is going to happen? Yeah? Okay, cool. Let's try that. Do you want to try it? So I'm going to give you this neutron, and there's a little hole in the top. Can you reach in and drop the hole in the top? Okay. Cool, huh? You see it? That's what we do in a nuclear reactor. All right, so we learned a little bit about fission and how one of the things that it does is it produces a lot of heat. In a nuclear power plant, we then take that heat, and we use it to convert water to steam. We want our steam to be very hot and very dry. So when you think about a pot on your stove and that steam that comes off of it, it leaves wet marks maybe on the microwave fan that's above it. That's very wet steam. So we're gonna put that steam in the nuclear power plant through a steam separator and a steam dryer so that when it hits the turbine, it's very dry. And that steam is going to hit the blades of a turbine, just like the windmills you see that move in the wind. We put a big turbine inside um, our nuclear power plants, and we turn that with steam, and that's what produces our electricity. Very similar to a coal plant, except that we have a very efficient, non-carbon producing source of electricity from fission. Idaho National Lab is a huge employer in the area, and one of their main missions is researching safer, uh, better ways to produce nuclear power. They look at different materials and make better steels and fuels. Uh, they look at making better, more efficient systems. Uh, I'm standing here at Aztec where we train students on how to pump water and make steam and control pressure and temperature and flow rates, uh, just like we would do in our nuclear power plants. One of the really cool things about nuclear power plants, they produce a really large amount of power. 
if you think about uh, a reactor and how hot it's been, when it shuts down, that heat doesn't just go away. We have this residual decay heat in our reactors uh, from the byproducts of fusion. Most commercial reactors produce um, as much waste heat during that time as the largest solar plant in the United States produces at full power. So they're very large amounts of steam and very large amounts of electricity. They're what we call base load power, which is that they can provide a base for all the power needs that we need 24 seven to run our economy and our country, our hospitals, our manufacturing, our traffic lights. Uh, that base load power being always on is really important.